bright beauty every student matters hello students my name is sanjay jain today in the number system we will study about exponents of real numbers right and we will study some of the laws that are concerned with exponents for real numbers now what is exponent let us say i write a raised to power m okay where a and m both belong to natural numbers right 1 2 3 4 and so on now a here is the base and m which we generally call as power is exponent it is the exponent now we will study about some of the laws to simplify problems like this let us say you are given 17 raised to power 7 into 17 raised to power 3 right and you have to write it in a simplified form so you can simply write it as 17 raised to power 7 plus 3 or 17 raised to power 10 why because of laws of exponent which say that a raised to power m into a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n where a m and n belong to natural numbers right how this works out is a raised to power m what is a square a square is nothing but a into a right a cubed a into a into a right so what will be a raised to power m a into a into a into a into a and how many times m times right when you multiply it with a raised to power n which means a into a into a into a how many times n times now if i ask you how many times a is written here on the screen this a is written m times and this is written n times so collectively if you see a is written m plus n times right so in short form we can write it as a raised to power m plus n so left hand side means a written m times in a product form a into a into a m times into a into a into a n times and right hand side means a into a into a m plus n times right this side means a into a into a into a m plus n times which is same as the left hand side so this is our first law of exponents that we are going to study today right so the first law that we studied is a raised to power m into a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n okay the second law that we are going to talk about is when a raised to power m is raised to nth power okay now a raised to power m is raised to nth power what does it mean so if you look at it inside the bracket i have written a into a into a into a m times and i have raised it to power n okay so what it means is that i can write this as a raised to power n into a raised to power n into a raised to power n how many times m times or if i want to write it in shorter form i can write it as a raised to power mn okay a raised to power mn why because of this rule that we studied just now because every rule or every law that you study is valid from left to right also right to left so if you look at this now a raised to power m plus n you can break it into these two factors a raised to power m into a raised to power n right so similarly when i wrote a raised to power m as this and when i raised it to nth power i can break it in a raised to power n into a raised to power n into a raised to power n m times right so what i mean is a raised to power m is written n times in product form a raised to power m into a raised to power m into a raised to power m and so on n times so you can write it as a raised to power mn okay why because we wrote here also 
a into a into a m times means a raised to power m. So a raised to power m into a raised to power m into a raised to power m n times will mean a raised to power m n. Okay. I hope you have understood these two rules. What are these two rules? Number one, a raised to power m into a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m plus n, and the second one is a raised to power m raised to nth power can be written as a raised to power m into n. Okay. In English language or in simple language, you can say when the base is same, when the base is same. and it is in the product form then the powers will add the powers will add and here when a raised to power m is raised to nth power then these powers will multiply so it will be a raised to power mn okay in the simpler form you can see it like this a square raised to third power what does it mean that a square into a square into a square A square is multiplied three times. A square is multiplied three times, and it means what? A raised to power six because powers base is same, so powers will add. Hence, A raised to power six. So, A raised to power m raised to nth power is A raised to power m n. Third rule: A raised to power m divided by A raised to power n. Okay, this can be written as A raised to m minus nth power how let us say you write a raised to power 7 divided by a raised to power 3 what would it mean that a into a into a into a into a 7 times right and a cube means a into a into a 3 times now if you see you can cancel these three a's with these three and how many are left four rather than cancelling you could have done 7 minus 3 it would have given you a raised to power 4 which is same as this okay and when we are talking in terms of m and n it also means same that a into a into a into a m times and divided by a into a into a n times so out of these m n a's will get cancelled and you will be left with m minus n a's okay so this is the third rule and fourth rule can be let us say till now we are speaking about when the base is same let us say base is different a raised to power m into b raised to power m now in this case base is different but power is same okay so you can write this as a b raised to power m okay and you can understand it by separating these like this a into a into a m times into b into b into b m times now if we collect a from here and b from here i can write ab let us say this i have collected these first terms out of these two brackets right again i can take a out of this b out of this again i can write ab right how many times can i write ab 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 m times because a is i have got m times b is i have got m times so ab i have got m times hence i can write ab raised to power m which is the right hand side this is how you will understand these rules now what if i write a raised to power 0 a raised to power zero is nothing but one, where a is positive, right? These laws we are studying for when a, m, and n are natural numbers, which are definitely positive, right? Now what I have written is a is positive and it is raised to zero power. It means one, right? So three raised to power zero is one. Ten raised to power Zero is one, but you need to take care that you cannot compare like this. Let us say three raised to power zero is equal to ten raised to power zero. This much is okay. This much is true because one is equal to one. But now, if some students thinks that I will cancel zero power and I will write three equal to ten, no, this is not true. 
right when it is raised to zeroth power you cannot cancel the powers okay so 3 raised to power 0 is 1 10 raised to power 0 is also 1 okay so a raised to power 0 is 1 now think about this when i say a raised to power m divided by a raised to power n is equal to a raised to power m minus n but now if i take m as 0 so a raised to power 0 by a raised to power n which is nothing but 1 by a raised to power n so if i take this n take this term in the numerator i can write it as a raised to power negative n 0 minus n is nothing but negative n okay so this is how we can deal with negative powers okay so if i write 1 by let us say 3 squared i can write it as 3 raised to power negative 2 or if i can write 5 raised to power minus 3 i can convert it into 1 by 5 cubed okay so this is how you will deal with negative powers what if we have fractional powers for example a raised to power 1 by 3 into b raised to power 1 by 3 can we write it as a b raised to power 1 by 3 yes we can write it like this also so if i have got a raised to power 1 by 3 into a raised to power let us say 2 by 3 what will it mean it will mean a raised to power 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 so which is nothing but a because this means 1 so a raised to power 1 is again a so we can have powers which are fractional or which are you can say collectively which are rational numbers okay so if you have rational powers these laws of exponents will be valid but you have to be very very careful from class 9th itself about the fractional powers i'll give you some examples let us see if you understand them or not let us say if i write a raised to power a raised to power 3 raised to power 1 by 2 okay what does it mean it means a is cubed right you take cube of a and then you take square root of a and because of laws of exponent you could have also written it as 3 by 2 so the other thing other way that you can understand this is you take square root of a and then cube it right you take square root of a and then cube it or you cube a and then take its square root both are same things but now you need to take care that the base is positive real number right when i say positive or negative it definitely means it's a real number okay in imaginary number there is nothing like positive or negative order relations are not valid in complex numbers or imaginary numbers let's forget about them we will study about these in class 11th but when i say it is a positive number it means it's a real number so when a is positive these transformations or these manipulations are valid what if a was negative then the square root would not be valid because inside the square root you can only have non-negative numbers non-negative number for example if i write root a then i have to mention that a is greater than or equal to zero right it is valid only if a is a non-negative number only then you can take square root or fourth root or sixth root right any even root for that matter you can take if a is greater than or equal to zero okay what if a is zero then you will get zero right what if a is something positive something positive you will get a positive result so when you take even square root even root for that matter then the result will always be greater than or equal to zero okay when you take even root of a number then the result that you will get will be non-negative okay 